and this is the clock drawing test. You ask the patient to draw a clock, put the numbers in it and mark some particular time. You say it is 340 and then you find out how they draw the clock. Here you can see the different uh, types of drawing. Here the clock hands are uh, different. Here everything is on one side. The patient may be having an anopia on this side. Here though the numbers are correct, they are not able to, there is some movement, maybe patient has got Parkinson or something. And uh, this is reasonably okay, but then uh, the visual spatial orientation is not very good and then they are marking in different places, so also so. This is a very quick and acceptable screening test for dementia, it requires no straining, no scoring methods are simple, it's usually given three, one is the round, second is the number, third is the hands. So you can do it very easily. Now comes a mini cog. This is something similar to the clock drawing plus the recall of three words which have been told earlier. This hardly takes three minutes and it is very useful screening tool for primary care. It incorporates a clock drawing test and adding a three item delayed recall, word recall. You make sure you use the same words repeatedly. Sometimes in Tamil we say Tamrepu Manjal Varam and you ask them to recall after some time. It showed very comparable sensitivity specificity to the minimal state examination which is a very standard but now it is copyrighted so you cannot use it uh, freely in classifying community dementias. So let us see what this mini cog is. This uh, person is giving instruction to this man to repeat three words and this is uh, give him one or two trials so he or she understands it and repeats it. Then you give them a specified time and ask them to draw a clock with the numbers and subsequently he has drawn then you ask him to repeat the three words which is already said. You can see how the drawing is. It can be abnormalities of the orientation and uh, rock drawing may be affected by different ways. Suppose all the three words are recalled, you give, okay, pass, not very much worrisome. If all the three no words are recalled, then you know it is definitely there is dementia. Suppose one or two words are recalled, then you take the clock drawing. The clock drawing is normal, okay, uh, you have to observe. If the clock drawing is abnormal, then you have to subject the patient to a more detailed examination. on trail cognitive assessment is a very simple tool used to assess the cognitive function. It assesses attention, concentration, executive functions, conceptual thinking, memory, language, calculation and orientation. As mentioned earlier, any of these domains can be affected. So we have to assess all the domains independently. The total score is about 30 and 25 or lower would be considered as significant cognitive impairment. And this is a tool which is specifically useful for uh, when you suspect vascular dementia because this assesses executive function also. You can see this first part is the visual spatial uh, executive function uh, assessment. This is known as a trail making test. You can ask the patient to draw from 1 to A to 2 to B to C through 3 etc. Or you can do 1 to 2 to 3 and A, B, C, D separately and then copy this bed and then draw a clock and the time. So the total score of the trail making is all right. It's 1, clock drawing is 1 and this has got 3 points. So total of 5 and then second part will be naming. And you, if they are naming all the three correctly, then you give them three. Then you give them five words for recall and uh, give them one or two trials so they are able to understand this and this is a test of memory. This is followed by test of attention. That is when you have a digit forward test and a digit backward test. You repeat different uh, digits. Usually the odds and the even numbers are combined and the next consecutive digit is not set up. So you have to see whether the page normally is about five digits forwards and three digits backwards is normal. And then the, one other aspect of the test of attention is you give them number of alphabets. You keep repeating and ask them to tap if there is an A. Like and whenever I say A, lift your hand or tap. One of the two things you can tell. So when if you say F, B, A, then C, M, N, A, A, I, K, B, A, like that you have to make them do it. And that is code one if they do it correctly. And then serial subtraction that is 100 minus 7 test. Usually they can go up to 5 steps and then you give them a point 3. Then it is different in MMSE from this. Languages uh, you ask them to repeat some uh, 3 to 5 word sentences. Can be the child is a dog and is walking in the park in midnight. Or it can be anything else which you want. Naan kadeki chendru vandhen or perumal kadeki chendru vandha or chocolate vain kundu vandha like that also you can tell. And then fluency is ask them to tell number of words beginning with one alphabet. It will be something like a G. Then you can say government, general and like that you can ask them to repeat. Normally it is about 11 words can be repeated. So that is function of language. One is repetition and the other is fluency. Then abstract thinking. 
So this you give them two objects and ask them to tell the similarities and the differences. It can be something like banana and orange, both a fruit, but orange and banana colors are different. So they can tell that. And then hammer and screwdriver or uh, matches and lamp light. So you can just modify it according to your uh, thing, but make sure that it is reproducible. And delayed recall, we have already given five words. You find out how many they are able to recall with cues and without cues. And category cues or uh, multiple domain cues, you may have to give to recall, find out a score and put it. Then orientation is day, date, month, year. And here, uh, in this is different from MLC, in the place and city going for orientation to place. Here it is all together, orientation to time and place. Here it is together, that has a score of 6. You would add up totally, uh, more than 26, 25 and above is normal. Less than that, eh, you have to be cautious.